This is Rob Tober for Boxing Social. Delighted to be joined here today by Luke Campbell. We're here at Casa del Campbell uh, for the second take of this interview. Um, Luke, how you doing? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Which you already know I'm good. Yeah, you do. Already, I do already know that. We have just for people who are watching. We have just done this interview, but we had some audio issues, so we'll try and keep it relatively fresh. Yeah. Um, Luke, WBC have ordered you to face Vasil Lomachenko. Yeah. Thoughts? Exciting. That's the first word that comes to mind. Yeah, what what a great opportunity. Fighting, um, I'm fighting the pound for pound number one. This is where I made my mark. Now, I've kept up, as a lot of boxing fans have, with the situation with the WBC lightweight title. Since Mikey Garcia vacated, it seemed to me like the most logical fights to be made was yourself against Devin Haney or Abdullayev. Um as I understand it, Abdullah, I think he had Ramadan. So that's why he's not boxing. So it kind of looked like you were going to box Devin Haney. Then the WBC order you to fight Lomachenko. Just tell me how you think that's came about. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, we was um, we was expecting it to be Haney, uh, obviously, or the Russian, but we know he was in Ramadan. But uh, And then, you know, this came up. But, you know, it doesn't stop me from from going on, from moving on and... Uh, stop me from achieving my goal. Now, this fight has been a fight that's been talked about for for a long time, really. You guys both won gold at the same Olympics. Um, I asked you this earlier, but I'm going to ask you again. Do you remember seeing him when he won gold? Yeah, um, I did. Yeah, he was at the weight above me uh, in L- in London, and um, yeah, he was he was he's an amazing fighter. Uh, there's not there's not one fault I can say about him. Uh, he's an amazing fighter and. This is going to be one hell of a fight. Did you ever expect that your paths will one day cross in the professional ranks? I didn't really, to be honest with you, because um, when he turned professional, he was obviously at featherweight, and then um, I turned at lightweight. So I was a weight below him in the Olympics, but when I turned professional, I was two weights above him. So obviously at that time, you know, I knew we would probably go through the weights anyhow, but you know, I've always had an open mind about it. And here it is. He mentioned that when he did start his career at 126 pounds. We just had a conversation because I've interrupted your dinner um, about you boxing, you know, 135 pounds throughout your career. Do you feel like you're going to be the bigger man when you step into the ring? I mean, he has come through the weight. It's lightweight. Many people don't really consider it to be his his best weight. I think including him. Do you think you're going to see that as an advantage on fight night? Um, I used to be. Um, I used to be a, a tall lightweight. And now, now I think I'm a big lightweight. So not only uh, do I have the the height, I've also got the size, which I'd never I never have done in the past. But now I feel like I'm a I'm a big lightweight, and and I bring a lot. What did you make of his performance against Anthony Quala? Obviously, another Brit who travelled over and boxed him in LA. What did you make of that? Oh, it's a spectacular performance. You can't. You, there's not one fault. Um, I can I can tell you in that fight. I mean, he did everything to, you know, everything the way he should have done it, and he did it spectacularly. Uh, I was I was slightly disappointed in Quala because, me personally, I just thought that when the first bell went, he didn't. He seemed like he didn't really want it, um, and I thought he would have had a little bit more of a go than what he did. But you know, he's he's up against it in here against Lemachenko. Um, but, you know, it was a f- fantastic performance for Lemachenko and, you know, not so good for Crawler. I, I, I thought Crawler would have got stopped, but I thought he would have gone maybe three, four rounds more. Maybe round seven, I thought he, w- he, he would have got stopped him, but he got him out there earlier. Now, obviously, it's very fresh. We don't, we don't know any details at the minute. I yeah. mean, there's pe- people watching this... Um, I- I actually came into the gym today without knowing this and it literally yeah. happened straight away. So obviously it's very, very fresh, but without giving too much away, how do you beat Vasil Lomachenko? Um, I, I guess, I mean, I don't really, I ain't really got anything to give away. I mean, um, how do you beat him? He's, he's got one loss on his record um, against the, uh, in his early career, but other than that, he's, he's improved loads and, he's, and he's, he's shown that in his performances and who he's beat. I um, I feel like I bring a hell of a lot to the table. I feel like this is going to be a fantastic fight. Um, I'm big, I'm strong, I'm fast. I've got good technique. I'm wise. Um, uh, I'm mentally, I'm in a fantastic place and I'm raring to go. 
Now, a lot of people, both at featherweight and super featherweight, and even you know, some people at lightweight, have kind of steered away from Lomachenko. The first, I mean, people might think that I'm making this up. I'm, I'm absolutely not. But you were, you now, when, when I walked into the gym, were very excited to be linked with Lomachenko. Yeah. Why do you think that is? Do you think that's due to your amateur background? You used to kind of fighting the best fighters in the world? Because you are. You're genuinely yeah. excited about fighting. Well, this is, this is where I make my mark. Um, we wouldn't want to challenge the self against the pound for pound number one. Um, this is where I get I get to be in the pound for pound status, and I've worked my whole life for this. I've worked my whole life in boxing, and I've given it everything. And I believe that I'm I'm the best in the division. I, I want to be the best in the world, uh, and I I work every day with with that goal and that vision. And I want to be the best, and to be the to be the best, you have to beat the best, and. Lemachenko is the best right out there right now, so um, for me it's a fantastic opportunity and one that I'll grab with both hands and uh, I'm excited about this fight. Now, Lomachenko is somebody who is, is, as you've mentioned it already, kind of pound for pound best fighter in the world. Yeah. He's, he's somebody who's one of the most talented fighters probably of all time. You've mentioned that it excites you. As you get closer to the fight, do you kind of have to block that sort of stuff out when you're thinking about his skills? Is it Are you going to be thinking about him or are you going to be thinking about what you're doing? Going in, I mean, you've boxed somebody in yeah. Linares who was you know, up there in the pound for pound, but this is quite different. Yeah. Would you agree? Yeah, no, definitely. It's, um, it's another day in the office. You know, he's, I'm not fighting Zeus. That sounded so brilliant in your accent. <laughs> <laughs> it's another day in the office. It's going to be a tough fight, and you know it'll be a, a fight that I definitely um, I don't take any fight lightly. Anyhow, but you'll see the best of me for sure in this fight. You've got to see the best of me, and um, it's a great time right now for me. Like I say, I'm feeling good um, physically, mentally. And I feel like I'm I'm non-stop improving and getting better and better. And you know this this could this could make a mega fight. And um, I think it's going to be a very exciting fight. There's something I spoke to Shane about. Um, Devin Haney, for all of his reputation and for all of his talents, is, is still somewhat of an unknown. The same with Abdulayev. Yeah. It's the opposite for Lomachenko, where everybody knows how good he is. There's yeah. there's hours and hours of footage to look at. Is that better for you that you can prepare that way by seeing him or would it have been better had it have been a Haney who you don't really know that much about? Uh, has it helped any previous Lomachenko <laughs> opponent looking at all that stuff about what he does? No, I, I don't think it does. I've just got to go in there that night and be me. be a, be a, Do what I do and um, you know, that's it. I'll concentrate on me. And uh, not concentrate on on what he can do. We all know what he can do. You know he's a fantastic fighter, but we'll we'll concentrate on what I can do. But you know this this fight's got to happen in the UK. Got to happen in the UK. We have the best fans in the world here in the UK. We've got a, f- a fantastic platform for it to go on. And like like he said um, several times that he'd love to fight in the UK. This is perfect opportunity. I was going to come on to that because you're somebody you've not, I mean, from your amateur background through to your, your professional career, so Linares, obviously you based yourself stateside. Yeah. As much as you'd like to see that fight in the, end up in the UK, as much as I would love to see that fight be in the UK, would you be willing to travel if the opportunity presented itself? Yeah, listen, I'll go, I'll go wherever I always have done. But I just feel like this fight is could be something very special in the UK. And... Um, you know, I think this is. I think this is it. This is where it's got to be. Okay, and just finally, because I'm very aware that I have invaded your lovely home here after already doing an interview with you about 20 minutes ago. Um, what message have you got for Vasil Lomachenko? I'm told he watches all of Boxing Social stuff. It's you know, he's a massive Boxing Social fan. He loves us. So, um, what message have you got for him? Because he'll definitely be watching. Yeah, I, I guess I'll see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, Luke Campbell, thanks very much for sitting down with Boxing Social again, um, twice in 20 minutes. Um, Wishing you all the best, and I'm sure I'll catch up with you soon. My pleasure. Good to see you.